What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Money and say you already know the vibes, you feel me? We back with another Hassan Campbell reaction. Now, if y'all seen my last video, um, Hassan was going back and forth. Well, not going back and forth, but Hassan was reacting to uh, Charleston White, and he was on um, another podcast, whatever, then Homeboy on a podcast said that he didn't like Hassan Campbell. Then if you go to my other video that I did as well, he responded to her, um, Hassan Campbell, you feel me, speaking on him saying that he didn't like him. So right now, this is basically Hassan's response to his response, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? If it's a little confusing, sorry about that, but that's as clear as I can get it right now. Uh, so we about to watch that video before I press play, though. Subscribe to my channel, you heard. Put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications so I can get notified every time I drop a video. All right, so let's get right into it real quick and see what my son has on. definitely going to address. Hey, Hassan, what's up, man? Hey, this dude right here. We're going we to address him real quick, right? Because my whole thing is I call him. I call him Pablo, Pablo right? I, I call him Pablo. Pablo's crazy. Dogs right here. This is the dude. He got a, he got that platform or whatever. Danza, whatever. I don't know the name of the nigga platform. Matter of fact, Danza. the Danza, the Danza Project. That's his channel, right? Got 128,000 subscribers on his channel. I don't watch him. Don't know him. But as y'all seen in the last live that I did, not the last one, but previous to that, Dogs was talking slick, talking about he don't like me. I don't know. You. <laughs> never heard of you. So now he's responding again. I never spoke to this dude. Never had nothing negative to say about this dude. Never even knew he existed. But here he goes running his mouth about me. So let 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 shall we begin? And tell me about it. I really don't know anything about Hassan Campbell. Um He's, I guess he, he must do review videos. I don't know what he does on YouTube. I've seen him on IG going viral for pulling up on in somebody's hood and getting shot. The video was supposed to show him getting shot, but it just kind of like skipped past two parts. I don't even know if he actually got shot. Um, yeah, you know. He doesn't know nothing about me, but he doesn't like me. Oh, but I seen a video on IG. So you seen a video of me getting shot. That me being a victim, somebody hurting me, made you not like me. Help me to make sense. So let's dissect this stupid nigga. And then he was talking about some wild conspiracy theory he had before that I heard. And I'm like, this dude is a nerd. It really wasn't. Yeah, you know, it wasn't much. So he heard, he heard about. This wow conspiracy theory. This dude is a nerd. Yeah, yo. This nerd nigga that you're crazy. talking about is a nerd, right? This is a nigga that's what, what, let me let me let me break me down for you, my nigga. Well, who you calling a nerd? This is a nigga that grew up in Bronx River Projects. This is a nigga when you see Wow Bill on my platform, when you see Lucky Dharma on my platform. Wait, you... he, he grew up in Bronx River too, or is he speaking of himself? There's the Danza Project. He He's from the Bronx. Y'all let me know in the comment section. See, Juju, Mr. Checkmate on my platform. We was all on Rikers, Rikers Island together. And when I went to Rikers Island, at the age of 18 years old, my fifth year, my fifth grade teacher told me, in fifth grade, when you turn 18, you go into jail for murder. When I turned 18, I went to jail for murder. Nah, I, that's crazy, bro. I be, bro. Nah, nah. I, don't, I ain't got, Nah, nah, nah. Shorty, the lady put a hex on your life tomorrow. You gonna, we gonna go to jail for murder 18 and then that actually happens? Nah, that's, that sounds like some voodoo shit to me. Had multiple bodies, but he's calling me a nerd, right? Because he don't know who he talking to. And this is not... So, so basically, Hassan's saying that he... I don't think he said... When he's saying um, grew up in Bronx River, he was talking about himself. Okay, so the Danza, Pro Danza Project, uh, I don't think he's from the Bronx. Me glorifying who I am? This is just me letting it be known who I am, right? So let me let him finish talking. I could determine, look, I'm, I'm 38 years old. I'm a grown-ass man. And 
I've been everywhere. You know what I mean? I've I've literally been 38. I don't know why in my last video I feel like he said something about he I thought he said he was 30 or some shit like that. And then I was like, and in my last video, I was like, nah, he looked like he like 40. So he's 38. Okay. But for some reason, in my last reaction, I feel like I heard something different. I don't know. And everywhere. Um, I've been, I've, I've lived in the trenches. I've, I've lived in the suburbs. I've fucking, uh, I've lived in different cities and states. Um, I lived abroad. Like, you feel me? Like, I've been around. And so he's trying to sell you. That he's a street nigga. That's what he's trying to sell you. That he's a street nigga. I can tell the type of individuals I don't even really fuck with. And while I'm listening to uh, somebody like Hassan Campbell and he was talking about his weird little conspiracy things um, this day, I was like, this dude is a creep. A creep is crazy. I don't even shut up, boss. <laughs> Um, so I'm looking at hey so yo, did he just say shout out? He doesn't know, me, deep, but what? he's telling ya, right? That this dude is a creep. He doesn't watch me, but this is what he gathered. Now, mind you, that I caught the nigga saying something slick about me before because he had some content with Charleston White that I played, like a little clip talking shit. And he was like, Well, why he didn't plug the channel? Because I don't know you, my nigga. But he knows who I am. Let him keep talking. Ah. You can always, when you listen to a person, you can always tell when you're listening to a liar. Yo, um, so I guess we could faithfully say Danza is officially on the I Can't Stand You roster of Hassan Campbell. So we're just going to add him on there with Charleston White, add him on there with Mano, add him on there with Jim Jones. I mean, the list goes on, man. <laughs> like, do Hassan got any friends, bro? Like, bro, but, like, am I his only friend? I don't understand, bro. Like, <laughs> What is this thing? Right? So now I'm doing it. I don't bring up Hassan Campbell's name fucking ever. I've never brought up this dude's name because he's an irrelevant, broke boy, nobody. You know what I mean? You could just tell him by the way he carries himself. Um, so now. This game. You're rumors has it that Hassan Campbell made millions off of YouTube. That's the rumors. But automatically, because he got the skin to win, he got the complexion for the protection, he got the skin of the colonizer, automatically he's really, really showing you what he thinks about me because he doesn't know me. Are y'all listening to him? Now, mind you, every time... Yeah, I, I'm not going to hold you. Hassan far from, from broke. I'm pretty sure he, Hassan make way more money on his channel than he does on his part, on the, the, the dancer... What do you say, Dan, the Danza Project uh, podcast? I can tell you that for, for sure. Every time I get up here, my super chat is rocking because the people support me, but this nigga's calling me broke. Listen to him. And then he sees a, us having a conversation with Charleston White. Charleston White says something I never wanted to be like. Uh, I never want to be like this guy right here he's he says to sign campbell's name um and i was like yeah i don't like that guy not serious just like just a quick yeah i don't like that guy you know what i'm saying that so you told 128,000 people on your platform you told 128,000 people that you didn't like me and thought i wasn't wasn't supposed to respond you told 128,000 people on your platform that you don't like me and tried to sway them not to like me. And you don't even know why you don't like me. You just made up some cockamamie shit and you think that I wasn't supposed to respond to you, my nigga? He 
told 128,000 people that he don't like me. What do you mean I'm not supposed to respond to a nigga that told 128,000 people that he don't like me? I'll be your huckleberry. I don't like that guy. You know what I mean? It's, I wasn't, Yo. I didn't sit there and spend 30 minutes of talking about him because he's right. I saw his video. He's absolutely right. I fucking don't know him at all. How could you not like me if you don't know me? Well, if you said, how could you hate me? And I don't know you. That, that shit would have been more valid to me. But how could I not? He lied so much that it ain't even funny. So he minimized. I only spent a couple of seconds, but now you have a 46-minute video. Responded to me. Nah, that's a big you tag just for him, me. though. Like, I only gave him a couple of seconds, but you, now you felt, because something I said got up under your skin. So now Yo, and I ain't going to hold you. I think that's, I think he, he did two videos, I think. Like, he realized, like, oh, shit, this video here's some attraction, bro. Let me drop another one. I think he did. I got to go back and check, but. Now you gave me 46 minutes of your time. Right. So I tell you sometimes you got to listen to a nigga. You, I don't like what you really, like, stand for when I was seeing this video of you. I can't pinpoint the video. This is the same shit that happened uh, when I had Brittany Runner up on our podcast and everybody's like um well how could you hate her because i did say hate um i was like i hated you when i first heard of you you know because you know we all heard the britney renner stories right so that's it you know what i mean it was uh it, it wasn't much yo how long he had his podcast because i've only really heard of his podcast um when when uh he interviewed the island boys and that was my first time watching his podcast um, you know what I'm saying? The Island Boys was getting tight because I think I don't know what he's the Island Boys said he'll break this mic or some shit like that. And he was he was like stood up, like trying to press the Island Boys. But uh yeah, like I, I that was the first time I really heard of his podcast, you know what I'm saying? So more and she got really upset, like, how could you hate me? Da, da, da. And I'm like, damn, there's you know, there's a lot of stories about you and shit like that. But you know, maybe hate was a strong word. I didn't say hate about a sound camp, but I just think he's a if, if you're asking me who I'm talking about um, and you don't know him after I mentioned his name, that's kind of how I feel, to be honest with you. I didn't uh, dive into the phone and and look at fucking all, the, uh, uh, heard. all his like, his page or anything heard. like that before I got on live right now. I don't got time to fucking look. We already heard of him. I reacted to that to him to his video already. Go to my last my last video. I just wanted to hear what her song gotta say, you feel me? I wanna look for a clip. I I, I just uh. Charleston White seems to be much cooler. Well, let me ask you a question, right? <laughs> Charleston what White makes Charleston much White much cooler, cool much cooler? You you realize that me and Charleston White was friends. Let me get my dog. Hold up. Ooh, I'm forty four. They're gonna tear you to pieces. I wouldn't give a damn. I'm gonna say, nigga, this is young legal put. Nigga, everything got him. Nigga, I wouldn't give a damn. What a motherfucker say, nigga. 18, 19, 20. 21 years old, nigga, that's legal. Nigga, who would want a fresh little old young motherfucker? Fresh? Wait, what? Much cooler. You you realize that me and Charleston White was friends? All right, so let's go into Charleston White. So I'm going to stop it right here because that's a whole other video. Um, Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's a whole other video. Yo, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think y'all think the Danza project is just cloud chasing Hassan name because he know the Hassan name is really ring bells in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Like they do he know the cheat code to this shit? You feel me? Like, cause you know I do, you know what I'm saying? I do, you feel me? But uh yeah, my son is Hassan is the cheat code, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie.
But uh, y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this. You know what I'm saying? Before I head out, if y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, you already put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button, turn your post notifications, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Let's get it.